What's up, YouTube? So we back again today. Uh, I'm at Copart in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just took a long six hour drive down here. I'm gonna go check out a really, I mean, a dream car of mine, really. I'm gonna be honest. And uh, I'll let you know what I think about it, what's the damages, if it's fixable, and if I'm thinking about picking it up. So hopefully I'll see you inside. All right, guys. I am walking up on it. This is one of my dream cars. Oh God. So the rear clam looks fine. We do have some fiberglass that needs to be refixed. Re Doors messed up. I hope there's a window in there. So side skirts jacked. Front clam needs to be repaired also. Man, this thing is beautiful though. I'm just checking for any signs of really bad damage, you know? So there's an under tray. There is some metal scraps that's been torn off. But I will look at that in a second. This side looks perfectly fine though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I am in my dream car right now. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. I'm in my dream car. Whoa. What the fuck? So, it does need some work. This steering wheel is tiny, but dude, I love this car. I fell into the seat though, I'm not gonna lie. But oh my God, where are the keys at? They said the keys are in here. I need to go ask the lady for them. But I will catch back up with you guys in a second. I mean, I'm just, I'm speechless right now. I mean, I'm just, there's so much stuff to look at. Momo, oh my God. It's beautiful. All right, guys. I'll catch you in a second. Okay, you guys. I just got the key from inside, and you don't understand how nervous I am. I need to scoot this chair up. Okay, I think the battery might be dead because I'm not getting any juice at all. Yeah, no lights are coming on at all. Yeah, I mean the button on the key fob isn't even working. The battery must be dead. Give me a second. What? What? I got the keys. Car wouldn't start. I asked the guy for a jump. Car still wouldn't start. So, they have it listed as a run and drive, but this car is obviously not a run and drive. It doesn't even start. So, I don't know whose mistake that was. I know it was probably miscommunication, but I'm not mad at all. It's just, I wish the car would have started, you know, cause I drove six hours to come see this car. Cause it was a, you know, run and drive and it won't even start. So I still love the look of this car. I don't know what the damage is on the bottom side. The guy said maybe there was a little bit of frame damage or something. I have no idea. I honestly don't know. But, I mean, the car looks fine. I mean, I don't know why it wasn't turning over. I mean, we gave, we tried to give it the jump, like I said, but it just wouldn't start up. I don't know. 
I don't know if there's something that I wasn't doing right or what, but I mean, shift linkage does feel a little awkward. Alright you guys, as you can see I am sweating because it is hot outside, it's like 100 degrees. But this is why you go look at cars in person because this car said it's a run and drive, it starts and everything. I get here and the car won't even start. The battery was dead, uh, they put the big jumper on it, like a big big jumper on it and it didn't do anything. Uh, it, had, it gave power to it but it wouldn't start at all, it wouldn't even crank. And then when you took the cables off and like 20 or 30 minutes later I got back in the car and the light like the door light was flashing so the car still had voltage in it like it still had current through it so something mechanically is wrong with that car like it wouldn't start at all like I don't know what it is and the, the handbrake the e-brake was uh, kind of like locked up so I think the undercarriage tray might have been like messed that cable up you know because like you couldn't even move it so it's like I don't know how that car was even sitting there. Maybe maybe because the under tray was stopping it from moving, but or maybe the e-brake was locked. I have no idea, but this is why you go look at cars in person, to be honest, because you never know what the car looks like. You never know the condition it's in. You never know if it's gonna start really or not, but it's a lesson learned. I mean, I'm happy. I mean, I got to look at the car. It's a beautiful car, so I'm happy to come and see it. I wish it would've started. I wish it would've ran. If it did, then that would've made me probably bid on it higher uh, I don't know if I'm still gonna bid on it the price is already at it's probably a little bit too high for it not even starting I don't know if the battery just needed to be re-jumped uh, or sat on there for a while maybe charge the battery up even more I have no idea or maybe just put a whole new battery in it I have no idea but from what I seen there's a problem with the car. I don't know if someone unplugged something, somebody's fishy, there's people, there's grimy people out in this world that do stuff like that, will unplug something just so the car won't start because they wanna get the car for a better price. But just keep an eye out if you guys are gonna look at cars like this because this these type of things do happen. Like that car was not starting. Like I tried probably at least 20 or 30 times to try and start that car and it wouldn't do anything at all. It wouldn't budge. So sadly, here goes another six hour drive back home to st louis but it's all good i mean it's thursday i'm off work i'm gonna enjoy the drive it's gonna be a long one but it's all right uh i'll catch you guys in the next one uh stay tuned hopefully we, do, we will get a new car eventually i'm still gonna be building my frs i actually drove this today my frs did really well it drove six hours here and it's gonna drive six hours back hopefully but uh Temps seem good, gas is good, everything's good on this car. But uh, stay tuned to the channel, guys. You guys will see more updates and modifications done to this, and maybe my IS300 also. Thank you guys for watching. Be seeing the next one.